played a little bit of um, Two Worlds 2 yesterday. Um, what I thought about, like what I thought of it. <laughs> well, I, I never played Two Worlds 1. And a lot of people said that one was really bad. <clears throat> but I'll have to be honest with you, I can't imagine it being too much worse than Two Worlds 2. Now, before I, I, you know, rant on, you know, ab about why I hate it, um, I'm just gonna try to clarify a, f a few things. A lot of people consider this to be a good game because it was a major improvement over its predecessor. Well, even if that may be true, that doesn't really mean it's a great game. Um, like, like take Mass Effect for example, like Mass Effect 1 was really glitchy, um, you know, it's like comparing Mass Effect 2 to Mass Effect 1, uh, Mass Effect 2 was kind of an, an improvement in which they got rid of all the bugs and problems that was in Mass Effect 1, um, or like, e even movies, like, uh, The Expendables, like, you know, like the, the, you could say The Expendables 2 is a good film because it's a major improvement over The Expendables 1. Um, that may be true, but it doesn't necessarily make it a great film just because it's a good improvement. Um, that's one, that's one thing. Two Worlds 2, I believe, was a very uh, low budget game. Well, I think both Two Worlds games were very, very low budget. Uh, they were made by a company called South Peak. I, I don't know if that's the developer or publisher or whatever. Topware Interactive. I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm, new to, I'm I don't know anything about this series anyway. But uh, you know, they, they don't. They it was a very low budget um, because they, they they tried to make the game really big you know, massive scale and everything, and may maybe that's why there's <clears throat> a lot of bugs in it. But I mean, like, if you don't have enough money to to make these types of games, like A-list games, like Skyrim and Dark, Sco Dark Souls, games that are, are big, but, you know, they don't have really any problems with them. Okay, well, m maybe they do. I mean, Skyrim has problems. Skyrim has bugs, obviously. But, uh, the point being is the the frame rate in this game is it's so bad that it, it tends to freeze and I have to turn my PS3 off and that's bad because sometimes I can't tell if the game is freezing actually freezing or if the frame rate is so bad to the point where it makes me believe the game froze so it's like negative 50 frames per second I'm not trying to be funny I'm, I'm just saying it happened to me uh, so, uh, yeah, I mean, if you don't have enough money, no, not that I can convince developers or anything, but, I mean, still, I'm just trying to get my point across. If, if developers don't have enough money to, you know, try to make A-list games like, like those games I've mentioned, <coughs> then, uh, they should just stick with, like, like, indie games or, you know, Xbox Live you know, arcade games that'll end up really good, like, like, Aegis Ring or, or, you know, Castle Crashers <coughs> and stuff like that. Not, not these types of games that take millions of dollars to create when they don't have the money to, and it ends up, you know, crap. So, uh, that's, that's two. Do I have another one? I'll have to think about it. One more thing. One more thing before I explain the pros and cons of the game. Um, I, I played the PS3 version. Um, I don't know if that has anything to do with it. Maybe the, maybe the 360 version uh, runs better. Which is usually the case with non-exclusives, I have to admit. So, uh, you know, if, if, I, if I say anything that's that, that no one has heard about or, you know, experienced, uh, let me know, uh, message me, um, 
you know, on my channel. Um, because that, you know, the, the PS3 versions of a, a lot of games, like Skyrim, the PS3 version of that game is just, like, utterly broken. <coughs> so, uh, yeah. That might be why, too. Another thing, another thing. I'm I'm sorry. One more thing, I think. I only played the game for like three hours before quitting, in rage. So, uh, like I said, let me know. Uh, message me if I say anything inaccurate. Um, just don't. Just be be very respective uh, about this. I'm, I'm trying to be as, as professional as I can with uh, my issues and what I like about the game. Um, but uh, yeah, if I if I say something wrong or if I spew out some bullshit about the game that's not true because I've only played three hours of it, um, just uh, let me know and I'll I'll be happy to uh, you know correct myself. So, uh, but I'm, a lot of my problems with the game are technical issues and you know not what I can do and what I can't do in the game so uh yeah here we go the first thing that you hear when you enter the menu is just fantastic music In case you can't hear. Alright. That's the first good thing I recognize in this game. Is the music, the soundtrack. It's very epic. One really awesome thing I noticed in this game is that you can take apart different items to make new ones. Like swords, bows, armor, stuff like that. It's really unique. You can customize your own stuff. And up and upgrade them using other things. It's basically iron, wood, and steel. Well, anyway, that's all I really find appealing in the game. The crafting system and the music. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Let's go on to the cons. This is going to take a long time. And the first bad thing I know, the frame rate. The frame rate is so god awful. It takes a long time to finally... And even then the, the frame rate tends to crap out when you're not doing anything. The frame rate can get so bad in this game whenever you enter a fight or a town. And it usually happens every single time either way. It looks so bad that it goes into single digits. I mean, and even when you leave a town or leave a fight, there's just bad frame rate everywhere. Bad frame rate, bad loading times, bad everything. A lot of times it reminds me of Virtual Hydlide. Oh yeah, look at the physics too. Look at the way my guy, like, jumps. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of times in this game, the audio will will uh will skip, and that doesn't just include the music either. That includes the bad voice acting and dialogue too. 
Like sometimes my guy will say thank instead of thanks. It, it's like it's just like the the audio just like gets cut off for no reason. I don't know why. I need to find a back house. I need to find a back house. Like to poop or something? And it auto saves all the time. Even when you don't want it to, it will autosave at the worst possible place. One time it autosaved me when I was fighting a fucking ant. Another thing that pisses me off so much are the controls. A lot of things require the L2 button. Or yeah, or if you're playing uh if you're playing a 360 LT. I could be mistaken, but uh you have to press down on the directional pad to equip or uh, get out a weapon and press down again to see that um, I'm not really used to something like that and w when you press R2 to attack he doesn't whip out his sword first and then attack like in like in every other game like Skyrim and stuff alright when you press RT when your weapon is see he just punches. And looks kinda dumb. And a lot of the time it's pointless. So you have to have your weapon out first. And then attack. And by the way, your guy looks really flamboyant while he's whipping his fucking sword around the place. It's like, huh, huh, huh. I don't know, I mean, it's, it's better than what I can do in real life, but still. And in order to sneak, you can't have your weapon a crit because L2 does both crouch and when you have your weapon a crit, it's block. So you can't be and you can't have your weapon in your hand and stealth at the same time. Which means you can't stealth attack a person in this game. Period. What I could do is, I could sneak up to a person. Like say there's one guy like right here. And then stand, and then equip my weapon with a down button, and then attack him. But guess what? I've already tried that, and it doesn't make a difference. Even if he knows I'm not there, or, or you know, he, th he thinks I'm not there, and I hit him anyway, it doesn't make a critical damage or anything. There's no point. And speaking of which, it takes like a millennia to kill a person and every time I have to use a sword I'm tapping the R2 trigger like crazy just to drown drain a guy's health bar and it's boring as fuck oh and another thing you know how map is usually like like in the select or start button in the menu well it's square here press the square button, but I can only do that when I'm not in battle, when I don't have my weapon equipped. So I can't look at the map while I'm trying to escape an enemy or something. It's, a, it's, it's, it's something I can't get used to. In triangle for, you know, a quest, looking up a quest, like can't that be in the start or like select menu? Like why can't there be a map in this menu? Why can't there be a, a map option here? Or, you know, uh, uh, a goal. You know? I just kind of find it completely unnecessary. This should be fun. The baboons use their poop as a weapon. They throw poop at you to hurt and or kill you. Fuck this game! One last major fly I have with this. It gives me motion sickness. I almost threw up last night.
I'm not joking, I'm not making that up. I almost threw up last night playing this game. Because when you sprint into an enemy, uh, like an enemy headquarters or base, not only does the frame rate skip like crazy, but also the the background, like, like when they just the whole screen just goes blurry. Because you're, you're moving so fast and such a, a low frame rate. It just, it's really, really bad for my eyesight. And it just makes me sick. It even says on the back of this cover that this game can cause seizures, even if you have no prior history whatsoever. Now, I've seen this before on other covers, but this actually makes sense. This does belong on the back of this cover. This game can literally end your fucking life. Like, let me, let me try doing this again. No, I'm uh, so blurry. Camera blur, camera blur, oh shit, oh shit, camera blur. Okay, now I have this stupid, like, glowing shit on my body. I have no idea what it is. It doesn't explain the effect. It doesn't explain what's happening to me. Oh, yeah, and that's another bad thing. It doesn't really explain much to you. Even, even these truck sims. I... It's like you have to figure everything out on your own. Even if there's no way to do that. Well, that's pretty much about it. That's two worlds too. I just, I just don't like it. I find it boring. I find it extremely frustrating, extremely flawed. And as bad as the first one was, as bad as people say it is, I mean, this is still bad too.